Shoot, man. Um, oh, of course, like racist tattoos. Like, I'll never tattoo a swastika or, or like a, a Hitler or something like that. You better not, motherfucker. We friends. <laughs> Some people have a uh, very, uh, let's say, extreme taste when it comes to uh, their request in imagery. It would have to be really special for me to say no. Like, really weird. I know you got a list. I don't know. I, I, what do I have? The only one that I could think of was that one that, I mean, that comes to the top of my brain was, uh, I hate my mom, but I wasn't gonna refuse it. I just told him to come back later. The only one that's really jumped into my mind is this dude who had flames coming off his and he had some sort of surgery and he wanted me like reattach the flames coming off his and I was like, you know, I'm not trying to tattoo your dude. This one kid got a lady with three tits on the top of his foot. Um, and I did it. I didn't know if I should do it or if I wanted to do it, but I just thought it was funny and, you know, I, I, I did it. Um, they sent me a video of this woman who I think was a porn star getting her butt to her butt tattooed with a star on it. And he says, can you do that for me? And I was like, oh man, that's uh, crazy. I don't want to do that, but I'll do it for $5,000. If I don't see what they want, like if I can't envision it, then I usually, well, I don't book them because that probably means that I'm not the client for them. I like to, someone talks about their idea and then usually I like immediately have an, like a vision for it. And if that doesn't happen, then I, we're not the right people for each other. I got a very, very lovely young gentleman who wanted a Dickymon character, but he wanted it in a Egyptian style, but tattooed in a Victorian line work way. As much as he was very lovely, I was like, I don't think, I don't know how to just go about this. <laughs> Actually, recently I've had a client request a battlefield of goats fighting angels on a rib, very elaborate ideas and uh, thunderbolts and um, it, it just sounded way too complicated. He asked me if I knew somebody who specialized in it. If somebody does, hit me up because I'll you'll have a client. I don't like when the idea is so, you know, so difficult. When clients try to get one really clear, good piece, but they start to add meanings, meanings, meanings. So there I want a lettering for my mom, there are flowers for my granny. I want to get a, a rose and then for every leaf they want to put their child's name on it. Oh God, I want to die every time. I was like, can you do this? I'm like, no, I, uh, I can't do that. All together, you, you realize it's not really nice. Don't put seven names in like an object or an image. I hate it, we hate it. All of us, we don't like it. Usually they say like, yeah, okay, let's do whatever you want. Well, like I'll have like these cool designs that like I put my f***ing soul into and like I'll post and this dude will be like, yo, I want to book that. Here's my deposit. We're good to go. And then like two days before the appointment, they're like, yo, can you use my wife's face? And I was like, no, I'm not tattooing your f***ing wife's face. I was like, you're like, I'm not going to use her like, you know, like f***ing like deer antler, like Snapchat filter, like selfies to like, you know, replace this. I was like, people think it's just like copy and paste. It's like, throw my wife's face in there. I was like, no, I'm going to use this chick. Like, it's, she's better. Okay, so now, yeah, couple's names. I will never do that again. The boyfriend got the tattoo really big on his arm, and it was a girl's turn, and she wanted it in her finger. And they were arguing, he said, you should get it bigger, because I just got mine big. And she said, F you, no. And she's whispering to me, telling me to do it lightly, because they're breaking up after the session. And I said, okay, but you're still paying me, right? She's like, yeah, and I said, okay. He came back next week to get it covered. Tattoos I refuse to do are like racial tattoos. I don't f with that shit at all. Well, racist tattoos are things that I refuse. I've always refused to do like uh, racist stuff. Almost no tattoo artist is gonna want to tattoo like a swastika or something, you know. One time when I was down in Wilkes-Barre and I was tattooing down there, some guy came in and I had just tattooed um, a, a darker skinned guy and a white guy came in and said he wanted, right in front of the guy and his kids said, I want white power tattooed across his chest. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? No, get the fuck out of it. You know what I mean? Like that's that's ridiculous. Years ago, uh, I was working for a shop, 
when I was just getting into a shop, I was probably 18, 19 years old, and um, one of the guys there wanted this like full white power sleeve, and I was like, oh my god, I thought that was the craziest thing. I don't f with that. I don't f with like, you know, anti, you know, LBGT stuff. I mean, anything that is really spreads the word of hate, I don't f with because there's no there's no room in the world for that anymore. I think if somebody yeah, asks uh, me that, I'd probably give them a dap. You <laughs> had balls to even come to me to even ask that. I'll be like, it's crazy, yo. dude, like. The f is wrong? I'll probably be like, yo, I respect that because you was after I beat your ass, I'ma respect that you even would come to me and sit and ask for some shit like that. Like, wow, dude, that's what's up. But now I'm gonna f you up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it is what it is. I don't think they've asked you. They might ask me though. They're like, oh, this, this super pale, bald white guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he probably gets down with some swazis. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right? <laughs> they would <too. laughs> I don't want to. I tried to grow my hair back. We had this discussion earlier. I, if I could grow my hair, I would. <laughs> um, I think I hate to do animals. I don't know why, but for me, it's like, oh my gosh. When I see in my schedule that I'm gonna do some animal, I, I, I just cannot, you know. It, it can take me like forever to make the sketch and I always hate it, you know, I don't know why. So animals, yeah, it's weird, but <laughs> uh, I don't do faces like uh, portraits. I don't do people like girl or boy, you know, like legs, arm. I don't do this. I don't really do a lot of animals. <laughs> like any animal? Or like any, yeah. I don't know why people ask me. I do like mostly flowers, but sometimes they ask me, can you do my cat or I don't know, my dog or elephant or something with flowers? And for me, it's disaster. I cannot. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, most of the things that I turn down, it's more like kind of the more generic ideas. If somebody comes to me and they're like, I want a tattoo of like a shark with a huge dick, and it's like having sex with like an octopus, I'd be like, yeah, that's an awesome tattoo to do. You know what I mean? Like the weirder, most obscure shit, I would do it. Anybody that wants me to just like straight up copy a photograph. And no offense to anyone that has like a Scarface tattoo, but like, if somebody, you know, I've had someone like, they want a Scarface sleeve and I'm like, you know, I'm just not the guy, you know? I mean, I'm pretty open, you know, just as long as you let me like have fun with it, you know, and kind of create my own. Some things like I can't, but that's pretty much what I turned out. It's like on a scale from one to 10, you know, how much are you willing, willing to kind of let me run and have my freedom and I accept the tens. So anything that's, if it's an eight, then you don't trust me, you know? So find somebody you trust. I actually think the crazier, most like, you know, everything in the kitchen sink tattoos are kind of like f fun. Cause it's like, oh shit, like this person wants some like weird wonky stuff that I can make. So I definitely won't copy other, other people's work for sure. There's certain styles that I won't do. I definitely turn down a lot of like, I won't do any tribal or uh, I turn down just about every color tattoo as well. I only focus on black and gray only. Um, a lot of clocks I'm turning down now. I'm kind of sick of doing clocks. I think in the past when I first started tattooing, I was just doing like whatever, whatever the client wants. You know, I didn't have like this mindset of like try to talk my client to get something cool but like the last few years you know i i, I changed the way that i deal with this stuff so um when they come up with some like stupid idea stuff that i don't really usually do i try to talk them into do something that it's like fits my style something that looks cool it has less to do with subject matter and more to do with placement or size and stuff like that I feel like there's very little subject matter outside of racist imagery or, or hateful imagery that I would decline. I think that ideally I'd wanna guide someone into a, a concept that is gonna work great as a tattoo. I think that's part of my job is to figure out how to take someone's idea no matter what it is and, and make it look good. But there is a point at which like, you know, a swastika is never gonna look good. That's never gonna be like a sick tat that you got, you know? 
for example, an animal crawling over the shoulder or whatever. Like maybe in some styles, Japanese, it could work. But if I were to do that in like real, black and gray realism, I feel like you'll have an ass on your shoulder and like a dope part on the front, but it, I, I can't see it. So I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying anything like that, but it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the artist for something like that.